Hi everybody, Lisa here. Today I'm going to be working on a 8x20 stretched canvas. I've already put a base layer of black paint on here. What I'm going to be doing today is using leftover paints that I've had at the end of the day from doing some other paintings. Hoping I get something cool here. Usually I do. I usually get better results out of just a mishmash of paints. So I want to do a flip and drag on this. So I've got seven colors here. All the colors will be listed in the video description box. And I'm gonna start, I think I'm gonna do two cups and move them from end to middle. So I'm just gonna start filling my cups. All of these paints have spot on treadmill lubricant added into them. Let me move this so you can see the cups being filled. I was doing some paintings earlier that had like a flame effect on them. Kinda anxious to see what I'll get out of this. Might just get a bunch of mud, I don't know. Especially adding this bright green in here. If you want your paint to go towards the bottom of the cup, you pour from higher up. If you pour it lower, it stays on the top. Just a little tip there. It kinda self-mix that way. Okay, I have my two cups. I'm gonna give these cups a little bit of a swirl and flip them on here. Oops. So I'm just going to let those sit for a moment and then I'm going to drag them around. I think I'm actually going to put a pinhole in the bottom of each cup to break the suction. That one already started moving. The inside of the cup looks cool. Looks like flames. Got some cool cells coming up. This one really has some cool stuff going on right here. Check out the inside of that one. Sometimes the cup is actually prettier than the painting. So I'm gonna let those sit there for a moment. I actually didn't need to put a base coat on that because I had more paint than I thought I had. So we'll see what happens here. I'm gonna end up pouring quite a bit of it off, I believe. This side I really, really love. This side is kind of cool too. So let me torch that and get any air bubbles out of it. Awesome cells. I think I'm gonna tip this way. Get rid of a lot of that paint. Not really crazy about all this orange in here. Let's see if I can get rid of some of that. It's too much. I'm really liking this side. I think I might just pour a bunch of this off of here. I was really hoping some more of that purple would show up. But I just have like a band of it and I have a feeling that's going to dry pretty dark. Way too much paint. Got a lot of wasted paint under here, but I'm not gonna use it. I am done for the day. I'm just scraping underneath the canvas so the paint that's dripping doesn't pull all the paint off of the top. That actually turned out pretty cool. I'm not hating that. It does look very Halloween or fall. It's actually a really cool design. I am not unhappy with this. So I'd like for you guys to stay tuned for close-ups on this one. And I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I put out a video every Monday and Thursday. And if you really enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. That really helps me out. I'll see you next time. Bye.